Hello and welcome back to my vlog series on the best horror books of the decade from 1950s to present. And today we are looking at the 2010s. The 10s. 10, 10, 10s. 10s? 10. Probably one of my favourite books of all time is You by Caroline Kepnes, published in 2014. There is a TV series on Netflix adapted from this book. The first series is quite close to the first book. The second series, however, diverts quite a lot from its sequel. And I would very much recommend reading this book before you watch the series, if you can. It's told from the point of view in a kind of first person and second person kind of meld as the character speaks to a woman that he's stalking. And it really shows the danger of social media for allowing yourself to be stalked and manipulated. Joe, a bookshop owner, stalks Bex, a woman he gets obsessed with. And by obsessed, I mean obsessed. Published in 2016, written by Grady Hendrix, My Best Friend's Exorcism. Grady Hendrix is owed a lot by the horror genre, especially for his great book, Paperbacks from Hell, where he goes through some of the great paperbacks and the great book covers of trashy horror books from the 60s, 70s and 80s. This is his book set in 1988, where a girl's best friend becomes possessed by a demon, and it is up to her and the power of her friendship to save her. There is a film adaptation of this book in the works, but I'd very much recommend reading the book before you see that, so you can picture it all for yourself. I especially like the current book cover for it, because it looks like the cover of a VHS tape for a old-fashioned exploitation movie. A Head Full of Ghosts, written by Paul Tremblay in 2015. This is about a girl who is possessed and they decide to make a reality show out of it. And it is a great commentary on reality shows and the novelty of a gimmick um, as to whether people are actually going to take the people on reality shows seriously or just take the piss out of them for the ridiculousness of their lives. Paul Tremblay's other books are also worth checking out, The Cabin at the End of the World uh, as well. And finally, of course, I'm going to have to talk about my own books, aren't I? Because they came out in this decade. I would probably, even though most people know me because of the sensitives, say that the books of mine you want to check out is After the Devil Has Won and this book is full of bodies. I think those are my best books of this decade. That's it for this vlog series. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you have got a new reading list that you're excited to get started on. Stay safe and stay well.